What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I want to cover certain aspects of the latest Curse of Osiris launch trailer as it does behold some interesting things now if you ain't seen the trailer yet check it out right here right now There's been a development on Mercury Its activity there surged exponentially and at the same time, the most notorious guardian in Vanguard history has returned, Osiris. Go to Mercury and find Osiris. Seconds remaining. What? What? Oh, delightful! This is wonderful! Look easy. Get the expansion pass December 5th. Two epic adventures, one great value. So it's pretty decent, and let's start. And first up, we get another look at that Red Beth hand cannon. At first, I wasn't sure this was the same weapon we saw within the title poster of their latest Bungie Weekly update, but it is in fact the same hand cannon which so many people, including myself, are seriously curious about. Next up we see three guardians looking down upon Mercury. Now not many have spoke about this, but I'm pretty sure I'd say what we see here is most of what we can explore on Mercury. And although we know it ain't going to be the biggest planet within the game, which isn't a problem as the Infinite Forest offers so much more, it's still surprisingly small and compact. But I ain't going to give an opinion on it until I've actually explored it myself. We then see something really weird. Now if this can be explained quite easily and you think you know the answer, let me know down below. But we see Osiris here in like an out of body experience kind of thing. It's literally 6 frames within a trailer so it's hard to spot and see. What is actually going on here? He for sure doesn't look like he's just popped a super of any we know in the game. If anything he kind of looks a goldy colour. So your guess is as good as mine. Another thing we see here which I'm guessing is a part of the story is Ikora in front of what could be the infinite forest entrance. If it ain't, it's definitely a vex gate of some sort leading to somewhere. She kinda looks as if though her power is being sucked from her. What do you think? We then see a little footage of the Red Death hand cannon again. This time it's reload animation. At first, because I couldn't spot the knife on the front of this thing, I was in two minds whether this was the same hand cannon. But it is you see in literally the last frame, which you probably won't spot here. Also notice the school shapes on the side of the weapon too, looking pretty cool. Next up we see this titan using the colony exotic grenade launcher wearing some epic looking armour. Now the theme behind this I ain't sure of, meaning where it's obtained, but we did see within a mini gear tease trailer a hunter wearing some gear which bared the same iconic marks. Whatever it is it looks absolutely amazing. This actual scene is even more epic when he pauses for the camera. What's interesting here though is the point of him missing his initial shot with that colony grenade launcher only for the mini spider thingies it releases upon missing does a complete full circle on the opponent to chase him down and destroy him. Absolutely epic. We then get a glimpse at many new armors and ghost shards within the game as well as some new ornaments on already existing armors within the game like the crucible and vanguard gear. We also get a quick glimpse at some epic looking ships. This one here on screen we see now at the back stands out the most to me as it bears the same theme as the verse weapons you get from Vance upon completing the DLC story. So where is this ship obtained? Also the ship deadhead, something about this ship to me screams raid, I don't know why. Next up we see more footage of that solar trace rifle in action. I'm curious to know this thing's name more than anything else as we've seen it so much now. And it's a solar version basically of the cold heart, so will it be called the warm heart? Who knows? 
We then get to see this hunter on screen and it's literally for a few frames, wearing some epic looking purple armour. What's interesting here though, pointed out by a pal of mine on Twitter, Bezio, is the weapon he's loading looks just like the Jade Rabbit we saw in the first few trailers ages back. Maybe this is an ornament for the Jade Rabbit, maybe the Jade Rabbit is an ornament for this new exotic, who knows, or it could just be a reskin. We will find out soon. We then get footage of the red lair, although not much, still enough to speculate on. So obviously we've seen the belly of the leviathan here. It's also great to see more piping as well. Well not really. We then see this purple kind of room within this red lair, an arena encounter no doubt. We can surely say though the enemies here are Cabal. Does that confirm that this entire new red lair will be Cabal themed? Who knows. I know many people wanted a Vex themed raid with a Vex themed DLC, but we can't have everything, especially with Destiny. Interesting though, if this is still demonstrating things we will encounter within a raid, this what we see here looks like we're being sucked towards some kind of Vex portal of some kind. Definitely don't look Cabal related, but hey like I said this could not be raid related, maybe it's something Bungie added to the end of the trailer to make us think the way I'm thinking right now, who knows. And yes guys, that is it. Some interesting things to speculate over for sure. Most of which which we should experience tomorrow when a DLC drops. And until then guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hitting that like button really truly helps me out. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand